Okay, so when you go out to take photos, let's say you go out and you you have an idea in mind and you're going to go take some photos of bald eagles, we'll say. Um, yep. How many photos are you going to take and then how many photos are you going to edit and then how many photos are you going to post? Or do you, is it random or yeah, do you have an so, idea? Yeah, uh, well, I can tell you trends from my experience. So when I would go out, when I first started, I might take, four or 500 photos. It's just like, click, 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 click. Cause I think that I'm going to just, you know, I'll eventually get something. It's just a numbers game. It gets to the point where there are times you'll go out and you won't take your camera out of your bag. Um, and then you'll come back home four hours later without having taken a photo because your, your mind gets wow, to a man. point where you know what you're looking for. And then if you're not seeing it, you just kind of know it won't make a great photo. At least that was my experience in Nebraska. Now, now that I'm in Tennessee and hiking crazy, crazy woods with crazy forest life um, and amazing waterfalls, crystal clear streams, especially in the fall where we're at now and being in access to like the Smoky Mountains, um, I would tell you that I take more photos because <laughs> there's just that much more uh, in front of me that I could take. And that was my experience with Colorado. You know, when I was in Nebraska about once a fall, you know, sometimes twice a year, I would go, um, stay with my aunt in Fort Collins in Colorado and, and then use that as kind of a jumping off point to go into the Rockies. And I can tell you that, you know, it, it's kind of that same feel that I had because it, you just get really excited as a photographer when you have that much amazing potential. I mean, the weather is always changing, which really has to do with lighting, you know, and lighting is the biggest part of taking good photos. That's why you have golden hours. The first hour, you know, when the sun rises and the last hour when the sun sets are your best hours to take photos. And in the mountains, you really? might have a mountain blocking the sun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So like, I kind of find that here, that lighting thing, especially with all the trees. I mean, Tennessee, especially central to Eastern Tennessee, from what I've seen, it's just one huge forest. Um, it is one of the most biodiverse states. I think it's like second behind, I, I don't know. I had no Hawaii idea. Or, I, it's crazy. I really like didn't. the, the a crazy and I like you know I I love um I kind of have a side hobby like mushroom hunting and stuff and their mushrooms oh, yeah. here are just insane from what I've seen but but yeah to your original you've, question you've done some like, wild mushroom the, photos your mushroom photos oh, yeah, that you've been doing lately are wild. yeah yep and like I'm looking forward to the spring a, to see what yeah yep uh indigo milk cap um mushroom is what you're talking about it's actually fairly rare and i just like the first time i went hiking here um i just looked down like what is that thing it's like a bright blue <laughs> unreal looks like it's fake thing growing out of the ground and yeah it's a yeah indigo milk you're cow. like yeah you just moved to nashville and all of a sudden you're posting blue mushrooms and i was like damn apparently <laughs> tennessee, tennessee's awesome i kind of knew about awesome, Knoxville, right? nashville memphis but i just thought it was like almost like farm ground in between and then of course the smokies and i knew there was trees there but i didn't realize it was like all this wilderness throughout the whole state 